This is a quick demonstration of how to get started with research that will save you time and lead you to high quality resources on the topic you choose. So, you're allowed to pick your own topic for your next research project. That's great! Let's say you need to pick an animal or plant indigenous to Florida and you've always thought panthers looked cool, so you've picked that as your topic. Before you go digging around in the school's databases for primary research articles on panthers, you might take a minute to become a little more familiar with your topic before diving into research articles. First, think about getting some background information. We aren't collecting resources yet. We're just learning a little bit about our topic before we go get our resources that we'll use in sight on our Works Cited page. There are many places to go for this kind of background research. The library has quite a few different kinds of books, or you could browse the science sections of newspapers, or visiting the web is a good place to start as well. So if I go to the New York Times at www.nytimes.com, I have the option to click on the science section if I'm investigating potential topics. Since I already have an idea of what I want to choose, I'll click on search in the upper corner of the website and type in my query. The results list brings up several different um, topics. I can narrow these down by clicking on science for my limiter. And the issue of extinction and the Florida panther really appeals to me. So I'll go ahead and open up one of the most recent articles. Browsing this article, a few things pop out at me. First, I realize there are several names for the Florida panther, so I'll jot those down as well as make a note to find out the scientific name for searching the databases. Um, I'll also see by browsing this article that there are several keywords that might be helpful when searching for research articles later. Extinction, inbreeding, pollution, evolution. These are all possible directions my paper could go and words I could use when searching for sources. I also see a few experts listed who I might look up to read their original studies on the topic. Now that I have a list of keywords, I have a good idea of directions my paper could take. Now I'm ready to log into the library's databases.